We're glad you're here to a brand new week, brand new week, brand new letter. We're talking about letter E. Hey, hooray, today is my preschool day. On my way to where I love to be. Are you singing with me? Barely ready for three school. It's so very perfect for me. Got to say that I can't wait to play A, B, C and counting one, two, three. Barely ready for three school. It's so very perfect for me. It begins when you walk inside and your smile just gets this wide. I like the honey tree too and the trampoline. So I have to say, hey, hooray, today is my preschool day. On my way to where I love to be. Barely ready for three school. It's so very perfect for me. It's so very perfect for me. It's so very perfect for me. Great job. We're glad you're here to talk about letter E. Let's find letter E. Well, let's first talk about him up here. I want you to put your finger in the air and make an E with me. Do you see this line that goes down? Letter E starts with a straight line down. Put your finger in the air and make that with me. Straight line down, and then it goes across, and a little shorty one, and across. And lowercase e, you go back and make a circle like a C. Go back and make a circle like a letter C. Great job. So let's see if we can find letter E in the rest of the letters that we are going to do. Is that an E? Hmm, nope. Is that letter E? Is that the one we put on the board? Nope. Is that letter E? Nope. Is that letter E? Yes, that's Granny E. Are you reading your book? Do you know about Granny E? Granny E. She's so funny. She cannot hear very good. I'm going to tell you, tell you the story about Granny E. Now there was a little boy that lived about four houses down from Granny E. And he came to see his Granny a lot, a lot. And one day, it was a beautiful day, and the big door in Granny's house was open and a screen door. You know what a screen door is where you kind of look look through it and you can see little you can see through it it's kind of metal and you can look through it and you can see inside but you can't really get in because it's a door and so granny had her screen door closed and her big door open so you could see into her house and the little boy came down to see his granny and he couldn't get in because the door was locked and so he's knocking on the door granny and you know what Granny's doing? She's stirring a pot and he can see her through the door. And he's yelling for her, Granny! And she's stirring the pot and he says it a little louder, Granny! And Granny says, eh? Eh? Hmm. She thinks maybe she hears something. Hmm. And he says, Granny! And she turns around and she sees him and says, Eh? That's you, Sonny? Speak up, would you, honey? Eh? What you gonna tell me? Eh? Because Granny could not hear very good. Eh? Speak up, would you, honey? That's what letter E says. Eh? Granny E is old. She can't hear what E is told. Granny E is old. She can't hear what E is told. That's Granny E. So let's do our, um, let's talk about letter E, about some of the words that maybe start with letter E. They say, eh, eh. Do you know any words that say, eh? Hmm, eh, I'm gonna show you something maybe you can guess. Egg, egg, egg is an E. 
E word. What about elephant? Elephant is an E word. What about hmm, elevator? Can you think of some E words? It's so hard because you're not here and you don't get to tell me the E words. So I have to tell them to you and you can think of those at, at home and then you can tell them to me. So this is a little bit difficult, but eh, we're going to talk about letter E anyway. Anyway, that's a, that's a, that sounds like E. <laughs> not really. <laughs> All right, let's do um, some flashcards. All right, I'm going to put letter E right in front. I'm going to scoot up because I think that will help. So tell me what letter E says. E says, eh? K says, k. J says, j. I says, yeah. H says, G says, G. W says, W. V says, V. U says, A. Uh. S says, S. F says, F. R says, R. D says, D. Q says, Q. P says, P. C says, K. B says B. O says ah. A says ah. T says t. N says mmm. L says oh. M says mmm. That tastes so good. Great job on your French, on your sound blending and your letters. You're getting so, so good. You are learning your letters, and that's so important so that you can read, read, read. All right, let's do our calendar. If you want to look over here, I'm not going to move the camera. So hopefully we can do this. So we are in April, and we are here. Count with me. One, two, and we need this one. What is it going to be? One, two, three. Three, of course it's a three. Tell me how to make a three. Around the tree and around the tree. That's the way to make a three. Now look at our pattern. Flower, umbrella. What do you think it's going to be? It could be a ABB, flower, umbrella, umbrella. Or it could be just a AB pattern. Flower, umbrella, flower, umbrella. What do you think it's going to be? Did you guess it right? It's going to be an umbrella. So let's put that on our calendar as the third. And let's do the next one. What do you think it's going to be? Flower, umbrella, 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 or flower, umbrella, umbrella, flower. ABB or ABBB? What do you think it's going to be? Let's see. Oh, did you guess it? It's a four. One, two, three, four. How do you make a four? Down and over and down some more. That's the way to make a four. So, what is our pattern? A, B, B, B. Oh my goodness, we've never had an ABBB on our calendar. ABBB. Cool. All right. So let's see. What is after four? One, two, three, four, five. You're right. It's a five. So what? Um, tell me how to make a five. Big fat five is flat on top. Go down and around and then you stop. I hope you said that with me. I know you know your letter set poems. So, uh-oh. Did you see it? Maybe you saw it. Flower, umbrella, umbrella, umbrella. What do you think it could be? Dun-dun-dun. 
It is a flower. So we have a A, B, 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 A. Oh, we're going to have an A, B, B, B pattern. And then go back to A again. Cool. So what is after five? One, two, three, four, five. What number could it be? Of course, it's a six. How do you make a six? Swing down the curve and make a loop. Six looks like a hula hoop. So, do you think it's going to be flower, umbrella, umbrella, umbrella? Flower, what is it going to be? Umbrella. It's an umbrella. Right. Okay, so today is April 6th, Monday. So, um, we are going to have a flag in our hair all day, unless I scoot over. Okay, let's do our flag song. Are you ready? Um, because we're letter E, hmm, we are not, get up there, little guy. Letter E is a vowel, and so he's not very good at the beginning of a word to change the name of all the words. So we're just going to do letter E super fast. Are you ready? Put your right hand on your heart if you're smart. Cha-cha-cha! Put your right hand on your heart if you're smart. Cha-cha-cha! Put your right hand on your heart if you're very, very smart. Put your right hand on your heart if you're smart. Cha-cha-cha! And then we're going to say the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand on your heart and say, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Great job. I'm going to put that light up because it looks like it's in my face. Um, we are ready for our flag song. Are you ready? Give me an O. Uh, hmm. New week. Should we do our other flag song? I think so. Let's do that. Um, how about God Bless America? I like that one. Are you ready? God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountains to the prairies to the oceans white with foam. God bless America, my home sweet home. God bless America, my home sweet home. Good job. Have a seat. Thank you so much. Great job on that. We are ready for, hmm, talking about the egg. I want to talk about the egg right here. You see that egg? Do you know what's inside of that? Should we look inside? I'm going to crack it. Why do you think we have Easter eggs on Easter? Why do we have eggs? Eggs are really important. We decorate them. We make them special. Eggs at Easter. Hmm. Did you know when mother birds, they lay their eggs and a chick grows inside? Do you know what part of that is the chick? I'm going to peel this egg. Where's my trash? There it is. I'm going to peel this egg. Do you remember what you see inside when you see an egg? You know when you have eggs in the morning and you have like fried eggs and your mom cooks you eggs and you see the yellow yolk? Well, do you know what that yellow yolk is? 
it's trying to be a little chick. It's trying to grow into a little chick, but something happened to the egg. It got taken away out from under the mother where it was staying warm and it got cold. When eggs get cold and they're taken away from their mother and they get cold, they cannot be a chick anymore because when they get cold, they die. They die and that's kind of sad for a little chick. But let's look at this egg. Hmm. Didn't bring a knife, so let me just open it up. <gasps> there it is. Now look at that. This was gonna be a little baby chick. The yolk. Do you see how that was gonna be a baby chick? And the baby chick, when he's inside the egg, he gets to eat all of the egg white. See this part of the egg? He eats it all up. And when he eats it, he gets bigger. And he keeps eating it and eating it and eating it until it's all gone. And then when it's all gone, he gets really, really big. And he can't get out of his shell and he pecks. He pecks, pecks, pecks. And then, did you see how I cracked that open? And he cracks it open and his shell goes out. And then it's a baby bird. And that's the way it is. But if the egg gets cold, he dies. And he can't be a chick anymore. He's just an egg. And if you keep them egg, if they keep them cold, then they will be good to cook and eat. But if they're hot and they get old, they get stinky and they get rotten. So if you have an egg in the refrigerator, that's the good place for it because eggs will stay good in the cold. So that's about eggs. So I want to read you a story about um, an egg. Let's see if I can move things around. Well, this is a big book, and I hope that I can make the camera work. pretty hard and this time I hope it's gonna be easier. Na, 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 na. <laughs> Scoot over table. We can do this. Yes we can. Da, 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 da. I can try and do it right so good now. I hope that's the right way. Na, 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 na. Can you see it? I can too. Okay, I think that's good. I think I'm going to put the light on it so it will be good. Oh, I think that's good. All right. Okay. Where's my granny glasses? Get my glasses. Clean them up. This story, you probably know this. Maybe you have the movie of Horton Hatches the Egg. So let's get to the beginning of this. Yep, this is the beginning, right? Yep. All right. Sighed Maisie, a lazy bird hatching an egg. I'm tired and I'm bored and I've kinks in my leg from sitting, just sitting here day after day. It's work. Oh, I don't like it. I'd much rather play. I'd take a vacation and fly off for a rest if I could find someone to stay on my nest. If I could find someone, I'd fly away. Free! Oh, she wants to fly away. 
Then Horton the elephant passed by her tree. Hello, called the lazy bird, smiling her best. You've nothing to do and I do need a rest. Would you like to sit on the egg in my nest? The elephant laughed. Why of all silly things, I haven't feathers and I haven't any wings. Me on your egg? Why, that doesn't make sense. Your egg is so small, ma'am, and I am immense. Immense means really big, and he is, isn't he? Tut, tut, answered Maisie. I know you're not small, but I'm sure you can do it. No trouble at all. Just sit on it softly. You're gentle and kind. Come, be good fellow. I know you won't mind. I can't, said the elephant. Please, begged the bird. I won't be gone long, sir. I give you my word. I'll hurry right back. Why, I'll never be missed. Very well, said the elephant, since you insist. You want a vacation? Go fly off and take it. I'll sit on your egg and I'll try not to break it. I'll stay and be faithful. I mean what I say. Toodaloo, sang a old out Maisie, and she fluttered away. Look at her flying away. <laughs> hmm, the first thing to do, murmured Horton, let's see. The first thing to do is to prop up this tree and make it much stronger. That has to be done before I get on it. I must weigh a ton. Then carefully, tenderly, gently he crept up the trunk to the nest where the little egg slept. Look at that little egg. That egg has to stay warm, doesn't he? Or else he will die. So Horton is going to do the job. Then Horton the elephant smiled. Now that's that. And he sat, and he sat, and he sat. And he sat. And he sat all that day, and he kept the egg warm. And he sat all that night through a terrible storm. It poured, and it lightninged, it thundered, it rumbled. This isn't much fun, the poor elephant grumbled. I wish he'd come back, because I'm cold and I'm wet. I hope that Maisie Bird doesn't forget. But Maisie, by this time, was far beyond reach. She was enjoying the sunshine way off in Palm Beach. And having such fun, such a wonderful rest, she decided never to go back to her nest. Ah, oh, I'm having such a great time. I don't want to do that work over there. So Horton kept sitting there day after day, and soon it was autumn, and the leaves blew away. And then came the winter, the snow and the sleet, and icicles hung from his trunk and his feet. But Horton kept sitting and said with a sneeze, I'll stay on this egg and I won't let it freeze. I meant what I said and I said what I meant. An elephant's faithful 100%. So poor Horton sat there the whole winter through. And then came the springtime with troubles anew. His friends gathered round and they shouted with glee, Look, Horton the elephant, he's up in a tree! They taunted, they teased him, they yelled, How absurd! Old Horton the elephant, he thinks he's a bird! Oh, they're making fun of him. That's not very nice, is it? They laughed and they laughed and they all ran away. And Horton was lonely. He wanted to play. But he sat on the egg and he continued to say, I meant what I said and I said what I meant. An elephant's faithful, 100%. No matter what happens, this egg must be tended. But poor Horton's troubles were far, far from ended. 
For while Horton sat there, so faithful, so kind, three hunters came sneaking up softly behind. Oh my goodness, here they come. Are they going to shoot him? I think they want to shoot him. He heard the men's footsteps. He turned with a start. Three rifles were aiming right straight at his heart. Oh my goodness, there they are aiming at him. Do you think he's going to die? Did he run? He did not. Horton stayed on that nest. He held his head high and he threw out his chest and he looked at the hunters as much as to say, shoot if you must, but I won't run away. I meant what I said and I said what I meant. An elephant's faithful, 100%. But the men didn't shoot. Much to Horton's surprise, they dropped their three guns and they star stared with wide eyes. Look, they all shouted, can such a thing be? An elephant sitting on top of a tree? Yeah, it's strange, it's amazing, it's wonderful, it's new. Don't shoot him, we'll catch him. That's just what we'll do. Let's take him alive. Why, he's terribly funny. We'll sell him back home. Let's do it to a circus for money. Oh my goodness, they're going to sell him to a circus. And the first thing he knew, they had built a big wagon with ropes on the front for the pullers to drag on. They dug up his tree and they put it inside with Horton so sad that he practically cried. We're off, the men shouted, and off they all went, with Horton unhappy 100%. He did not like that. He was unhappy. Up out of the jungle, up into the sky, up over the mountains, 10,000 feet high. Then down, down the mountains and down to the sea went the cart with the elephant Egg, nest, and tree. Oh my goodness, the whole thing all the way up. Look at them. They're pulling clear up on the mountain and all the way down. Whoa, that would have been quite the ride. Then out of the wagon and onto a ship, out over the ocean, and ooh, what a trip! rolling and tossing and splashed with the spray. And Horton said, day after day after day, I meant what I said, and I said what I meant. But, oh, I am seasick 100%. Look at his eyes. <laughs> He's so sick. <laughs> so funny. After bobbing around for two weeks like a cork, they landed at last in the town of New York. All ashore, the men shouted, and down with a lurch went Horton the elephant, still on his perch, tied to a board that could just scarcely hold him. Bump, Horton landed, and then the men sold him. Sold to a circus, then week after week, they showed him to people at ten cents a peak. They took him to Boston, to Kalamazoo, Chicago, Weehawken, and Washington, too. To Dayton, Ohio, St. Paul, Minnesota, to Wichita, Kansas, to Drake, North Dakota, and everywhere thousands of folks flocked to see and laugh at the elephant up in a tree. Poor Horton grew sadder the farther he went, but he said as he sat in the hot, noisy tent, I meant what I said, and I said what I meant. An elephant's faithful, 100%. Then, one day... The circus show happened to reach a town way down south, not so far from Palm Beach. 
and dawdling along way up high in the sky. Who of all people should chance to fly by? But that old good-for-nothing bird, runaway Maisie, still on vacation and still just as lazy. Lazy means she doesn't want to do anything. And spying the flags and the tents just below, she sang out, What fun! Why, I'll have to go to the show! And she swooped from the clouds through an open tent door. Good gracious, gasped Maisie. I've seen you before. Poor Horton looked up with his face white as chalk. He started to speak, but before he could talk, something's going to happen. There rang out the noisiest ear-splitting squeaks from the egg that he'd sat on for 51 weeks. A thumping, a bumping, a wild, alive scratching. My egg! shouted Horton. My egg? Why, it's hatching. But it's mine, screamed the bird when she heard the egg crack. The work was all done. Now she wanted it back. It's my egg, she sputtered. You stole it from me. Get off my nest and get out of my tree. Poor Horton back down with a sad, heavy heart. But at that very instant, the egg burst apart. And out of the pieces of red and white shell, from the egg that he'd sat on so long and so well, Horton the elephant saw something whiz. It had ears and a tail and a trunk just like his. <laughs> Looked just like an elephant with wings. Funny. And the people came shouting, What's this all about? They looked and they stared with their eyes popping out. Then they cheered and they cheered and they cheered more and more. They'd never seen anything like this before. <gasps> My goodness, my gracious, they shouted. My word, it's something brand new. It's, it's, an, it's an elephant bird. And it should be, it should be, it should be like that. Because Horton was faithful, he sat and he sat. He meant what he said, and he said what he meant. And they sent him home happy 100%. Don't you love that story? I do too. All right, we are ready to look at our fun sheets. Let's see if we can do that. Okay. All right. First thing you do is write your name. Hmm. What color should we do today? How about green? Write your name right on the line. And here's an E. First thing you do, straight line down, across, across, across. There's an E. Let's do that again. Straight line down, across, across, across. Eli has an E in his name. Eli, I bet you're really good at making letter E's. Straight line down, across, across, across. Do that again. Straight line down. Letter E's are so easy. Straight line down, across, across, across. Think I can fit an E right here? 
across, across. One last one. Straight line down. Stay on the line, Mrs. McClure. Across, across, across. Now lowercase e. We have to push it back and then make a circle like a C. Push it back and go around. Push it back and go around. Push it back and go around. I hope you're making ease with me. Push it back. Or you're watching really closely so you can do a really good job later. Push it back and go around. Push it back and go around. Push it back and go around. Good ease. All right, here are some pictures. It says to color the pictures that start with E. What about astronaut? Ah, ah, ah. I think I hear a letter A. Astronaut. I don't think that sounds like an E. What does E say? Eh? Can't hear you, Sonny. What about elephant? Eh? Elephant. Yes. Color the elephant. What about envelope? Eh? Envelope. Do you hear an E sound? Eh? Eh? Yes. Color the envelope. What about D, d dog dog nope what about egg yes color the egg what about elf yes color the elf can you do that say yes i can let's look at our next one. First thing you do is write your name look right here we have four pictures Here's a little bunny, and he is just finishing coloring, decorating his Easter egg. Now this picture, oh, he's barely getting started. He's got his paintbrush, and he's got the egg, and it looks like he's getting ready to paint it. Look at this picture. Ah, he's just beginning. He's just starting to do some cute little designs on his egg. And look at this one. Ah, oh, he decorated it and then a little chick hatched out of his egg. Ah, oh, that's so funny. So, which one do you think is the first one of all the pictures? This one, he's painting it. This one, he's carrying his egg with his paintbrush. This one, he's just starting to paint. And this one, he's done and a chick pops out. So which one is the first one that happens? Could it be this one? No, that's not happening first. He's already colored his egg. Could it be this one? Yes! This one, he's just getting started. So cut it out and glue it right here. And number one. These are numbered one, two, three, four. And we're going to put this in like a sequence. It's called a sequence. So. The first one happens first, and then the next thing happens, and then the next thing happens, and then the last thing happens. So the first thing that happens is this one. So we already glued that in there. Just a dot, not a lot. And then the next one. What's the next thing that happens? Does he pop out of his egg? No, I don't think so. Does he finish up the egg? No. I don't think so. Which one is the next? Yes, this one. He's just starting to decorate. So cut this one out and glue it in number two. Just a dot, not a lot. And what about the third thing that happens? First is this one, and then he just gets started. And then what happens? Does the egg pop out? No, he has to finish coloring it, right? So this is the first one, this is the second one, this is the third one. This is the one that goes right here in number three. Cut it out and glue it right there. Just a dot, not a lot. And then the last one. I know you know this one. Cut it out and glue it on. He gets it all painted and he has the chip pop right out. That's so funny.
Okay, can you do that? Say, yes, I can. Great job. Okay, let's get started on our project. So here is our project. And if you have someone big that can take this apart, that would be good. That way you won't break it. Okay, we have this little tool. And maybe somebody big can help you open that up. All right. Okay, now do you see our, I want to make sure we can see that, yep. And then we have our scissors. And do you see how this is stapled together? You see how this can open up? We don't want to open it up and cut on this side. We want to keep it together, okay? Now always, um, when we talk about cutting, I like you to keep the black on, but this time we're going to cut it off. And we're going to start right at the top, but don't cut just one. Don't open it up. Let me show you the wrong way. This is the wrong way. We have to cut both of them together. So hold them together and cut them together and cut off that black. You see how I'm cutting off the black? Oh, oh, you know what? Mrs. McClure made a mistake. We need to cut this circle first. I'm sorry. So cut right here, but try to cut all the black off. We wanna cut the circle first because sometimes if we cut the other side, then the circle falls apart before we get it cut off. So let's do the circle first. Do you see how I'm taking my time and I'm staying on the inside of that line so it stays like a circle? We want it to be a circle. See that? When you have it cut and you hold it together, ta-da! It has two. So that's awesome. Now we can cut this one. And we're going to cut like this and cut right here and try to cut all of this black part off. Perfect. Now this can go in your wastebasket. And then we have, we want to turn that over because we don't want to see that writing on there. Those are just some directions for you. So we're going to take our little bunny. And this is our little bunny face. And we want to glue, are you seeing it here? Okay, that looks show the bunny's face. We're gonna glue the cheeks right here. Oh, that will be fun. So let's glue the cheeks on. And sometimes if your glue gets dry at the tip, you have to kind of scrape it off and then it will work. Aha, good job glue. So I'm going to just put some dots right here, just some little ones, not a lake, just some little tiny dots. And I like to just maybe swirl it a little bit. Then it will kind of glue evenly. So we're gonna put some dots on there, not a lake, just some dots. You see that? Okay, now I'm gonna scoot him down so you can see his ears. And so his ears, can you see his ears? There we go. So these are his ears. Um, does it go like that? Hmm, what do you think? Do you think we could do it this way instead? Yes, I like that much better. So does it go this way or this way? This way? Yes, it will be nice if you kind of try it on and see if it works and then you can get your glue and you can turn it over and you can put some dots here. Dot, dot, 
dot. Maybe three dots is good. And then try to put it right on that line of the ear and just press it carefully. How's that? That looks beautiful. Let's do this side. Dot, dot, dot. Press that on there. Get on there, little ear. Good job. Okay, so let's go back to this little face. Oh, he's such a cute bunny. I love him so much. So, then you have this. Open it up, and you have some whiskers. And this is a ball for a nose. And then you have some white cotton balls for his little muzzle. So... Money, bunnies have little muzzles, kind of like a lot of animals. Dogs have muzzles right there on their mouth. So we're going to just put probably a lot bigger than a dot. Do you see that? Kind of a lake, kind of a circle there. I'm going to just fluff up that little nose just a little bit and stick it right on there. Okay, little guy. And if you pick it up right away, his nose will fall off. So you have to leave it there and let it dry for a long time, and then it will be ready. But we're not going to use this until uh, when you hunt for eggs. So maybe it will be, you'll be able to let it dry in time. So here is our cotton balls, and we're going to put one here and one here. Do you see how I put those right above his little bunny teeth? Oh, I love those. Great job. Great job. I like it. All right, that's so fun. So, oh no, no, no. Mrs. McClure, you forgot the mustache. What are you thinking? I forgot to do these. How come there's only two? I need three. <gasps> oh good, there are three. So we're going to make an X. Put, put a dot of glue right here. We're going to make an X. Great. And then we're going to put a dot of glue right under his nose because we have to give him some whiskers you know so there's a x do you see that x a big black x kind of like his mustache is a big black x and then we're going to do one more dot of glue to put this one on right on top right on top of that and then it goes right across right across the x and then he has some little bunny whiskers and then you can put the cheeks i mean the little muzzle so we're gonna do the muzzle we're gonna stick them on just like we did before only this will be the right way okay Oh, he's so cute. I love him so much. <laughs> okay, he has the back of him. Oh, I don't want to lift him up because he's drying. But the back of him, he has a little um, place where there's some Easter grass, and then he's going to be what you're going to carry to go collect all of your eggs when you go on an Easter egg hunt. So... Let's sing about Easter egg hunt. Let's come back here. Okay. And there's my bunny, and he, he's all dry so he can hold up. Let's close up the glue. All right, are you?
Are you ready? Here we go a hunting eggs among the grass so green. Here we go a hunting. Can any eggs be seen? Look in front and look behind. If you look, then you will find finding eggs is so very fun. Remember to be kind. Let's find some eggs, but remember to be kind. See if you can sing that with me. Hunting eggs. Here we go. Let's start again. Here we go a hunting eggs among the grass so green. Here we go a hunting. Can any eggs be seen? Look in front and look behind. If you look, then you will find. Hunting eggs is so very fun. Remember to be kind. Find some eggs, but remember to be kind. Why do you think it says remember to be kind? Hmm. When you are hunting eggs, how would it be if someone went out there with you and they got all the eggs and put them all in their basket and you didn't get to find any? And then maybe they would say, hmm, well, you could have some of my eggs. I don't want your eggs. I want to hunt them myself. Oh, that would not be very good if someone just wanted to give you all the eggs that they already hunted and that would ruin your hunt. So when you're hunting for eggs, you have to think about somebody else and not take all the eggs so somebody else cannot have any. So that's what that's talking about. You have to remember to be kind and think about others. Let's sing that again. Here we go a hunting eggs among the grass so green. Here we go a hunting. Can any eggs be seen? Look in front and look behind. If you look, then you will find. Finding eggs is so very fun. Remember to be kind. Find some eggs, but remember to be kind. Good job. Make a house. There was a little house in the middle of the woods. A little old man by the window stood. He saw a little rabbit hopping by, knocking at his door. Help me, help me, help me, he said, or that hunter will shoot me dead. Come, little rabbit, come with me. Happy we will be. Oh, pet that little rabbit. Give him a little cradle ride. Oh, I like that rabbit. Let's do that again. Show me a house. You ready? A house is kind of the same one that we did with Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Are you ready? There was a little house in the middle of the woods. A little old man by the window stood. He saw a little rabbit hopping by, knocking at his door. Help me, help me, help me, he said. Or that hunter will shoot me dead. Come, little rabbit, come with me. Happy we will be. Oh, that's a cute little rabbit. I love him. Give him a cradle ride. Good job. <laughs> All right. Um, I think that is it. We're going to have, um, unless we want to talk about the real reason for Easter. Maybe we'll do that next time. So um, think about that. Remember when we had Christmas and we had Santa and we had reindeers and um, elves and um, and then we were talking about the real reason why we have Christmas. Why do we celebrate Christmas? And we talked about baby Jesus. Do you remember when we did that? And it because Jesus was the real reason for Christmas. Well, guess what? Jesus is the real reason for Easter. Did you know that? Do you know why we have eggs at Easter? Because eggs mean they symbolize new life. And um, we'll talk about that next time, okay? How about our goodbye song? Adios amigos. Adios, my friends. Hasta la vista till we meet again. Thumb, finger. I did that wrong. Thumb, finger, pinky means I love you. Don't you dare forget it. 
see you later, bunny holder makers. Um, we will see you next time when we are making um, a mosaic egg. So um, you can have your mosaic egg already. It has all of the colors of papers, and we're going to do something really fun with that. So we'll see you later. Have a good day. I love you. Bye-bye.